on IWTV News. It's almost showtime. Another Natty tournament is coming our way. Are you ready? Good times in Weaver country. What strikes you about working here at Iowa Western? Golf in this weather? You crazy? Anything's possible in Weaver Arena. Shaking and moving on stage. Animal show at the Art Center. The audience, I'm howling. From the campus of Iowa Western, you're watching IWTV News. Hello and welcome to IWTV News. I'm JJ Davis. That's right, baby. Another big event is just about here. So ready? Wrestle. With this, the NJCAA tournament is just about set to hit the mats at the Mid-America Center. And the Reavers are ready. In step for another championship run, Iowa Western circling the wagons for another shot at the title. Now Big Luke jogs into the MAC with nine out of ten qualifiers. I think we're right there. Uh, we, we have the talent, we have the ability to do as well as we want to, as well as we want to do. Um, so we just got to go out there and take what we want. We've had our peaks and our valleys, but uh, the guys are trending towards their best wrestling at the right time of year. The time is right for seven freshmen to make their move, including 133 pounder and former Nevada State champ, Jacob Ruiz. Well, I'm mentally stronger. Before I came out, just like, I don't know, kind of just freshman nerves, I guess, but coming along the season, it's just like, anybody can, anybody can compete with anybody out here. I'm definitely more of a mental guy. I like, I like to try and get in the person's head and mentally beat them up and break them. I really just want to go out to the national tournament and uh, wrestle the best of my ability. Um, I've been training real hard for the last couple of years, so I'm ready to go. Towards this time of year, that's, I think, is the most important part, is just be mentally ready to go. So uh, I feel good all around. Jacob Ruiz, 133, looking good. Isaac Garcia at 125 is really starting to wrestle well here at the end. Melvin Hernandez at 149, he's, he's been hot. He knocked off some ranked guys. It's the big show. It's the only thing that matters, so that's all we've been looking forward to. It doesn't really matter about wins and losses this year. It's all just been leading up to this. We're all just excited. It's been a real long season, and this is the time where we really get to show what we've been working on. It really depends on how we wrestle early. Uh, with, with our draws, it's important for us to come out the gate wrestling well. If we come out wrestling well at the gate, we're right, we're right up there in the top five. The Reavers finished fifth last year. Iowa Western, led by national runner-up Michael Zachary, featured five All-Americans. Nine go into the big show with high hopes this time around. Now, will the door close on another impressive season? It's almost time. And you know, I've seen a lot of blood, sweat, and tears over the years at Nationals. It's a truly grueling event, but one in the end that is very rewarding. And remember, Iowa Western has had four finalists in still just its short history and one Natty Champ. It all starts first thing Friday morning, March 1st at 9.30, first and second round preliminaries, as well as the first and second round consolation matches. Session two later that night, six to nine, kicks off at the quarterfinals, followed by the third and fourth round consolations. Now that fourth round, more commonly known as the blood round, determines All-American status. The top eight in each division earn the title of an All-American. Day two, session three, the final four. Consolation quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. Now remember last year, the Reavers' Cody Kingery fought his way all the way back through the bracket to take third. It can be done. And then Saturday night, prime time, the championship finals. So a full two days of championship wrestling. And as always, I'll be there and have it all on our next show the following Tuesday. The Natty, baby. Bring it on. Would you believe teeing it up in Reaver Arena? You heard right, but first, barking up the right tree. This comedy is on all fours when we come back. 
From the campus of Iowa Western, this is IWTV News. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Well, yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. You're texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, is she texting me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Sometimes the things we do or say can make others feel hurt. Such a weirdo. Excluded or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. I came from five generations of teachers. Losing my job was the bottom falling out of my world. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there. What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. summer of 2019, Iowa Western. Had a chance to talk to the peeps lately, and I asked about their jobs, their workplace. It was just before the good Dr. Kinney gives his annual State of the College address. Now one person, Sophia John, the general manager of 89.7 The River radio station, told me it's the best job she's ever had. What about you? <laughs> Dare we say, Donuts? That's right, the pregame meal before the State of the College addressed by Dr. Kinney. Now employees give their thoughts on the State of the College. Good thing about Iowa Western is I have the best co-workers in the world. I have great co-workers and coming to work is actually fun. Hi. I came from Oklahoma originally. My husband got a position here for housing, so we both moved over here. Don't know anybody, so here we are. And your impression? Um, it's been really great so far. I mean, everybody's super nice. The dedication of, of the people uh, trying to get the, uh, uh, the education out there, get the students educated, and just the determination, and uh, just how everybody works together. Iowa Western is wonderful. The people that work here, the students, um, we're a good community. And I think that 
people that live in this area don't really realize how great we are. The dedicated staff and faculty, even through all the doom and gloom, we still want to try hard and push for the students to do well. What do you mean doom and gloom? Well, you said it, not me. I love the campus. I've got a window now in my office, so it's beautiful looking out over the campus and seeing all the, I mean, even though the snow is a pain, it's beautiful on the trees and, and all through the lawn. The lawn, these days, snow, and inside, the state of the college, always sunny. Not bad, huh? Now next, this show is going to the dogs. Literally. That's right, a pet theater company is coming to town. Now, before the big show at the Art Center, the big dog himself takes a tour. And there's a reason. Here's IWTV student Madadani Garcia. Gregory Popovich of the world-renowned Popovich Pet Comedy Theater visits the Council Bluffs Humane Society. Popovich, whose show has been voted the best family attraction in Las Vegas, is there hours before a performance at the Iowa Western's Art Center. We found out that Mr. Popovich had this comedy pet theater coming and that he focuses on rescue pets and animal shelter. We just thought we couldn't pass up the opportunity to invite him to our shelter, do a tour, see a few of the animals, and then get his perspective um, of, of our shelter. Yeah, my show uh, is a very unusual show because it's main because our main actors in my show is uh, pets, kitty cats, dogs, uh, whom I adopt from animal shelters across the country. All my pets. Uh, pets in my show I adopt from animal shelter and the main message uh, of my show is animals are people too. Uh, I present on my show ordinary pets, cats, dogs, but they are very talented, very smart and if after my show someone from the audience visit local animal shelter to adopt puppy or kitty I feel like my message reached target. The Millions Humane Society finds a home for somewhere in between 10 to 25 animals a week. Thanks to people like Gregory Popovich and the Pet Comedy Theater, our favorite friends will have the last laugh. With your IWTV News, I'm Maridani Arcia. Thanks, Maridani. And now to the show of shows. Fun stuff from our two-legged entertainers, as well as our four-legged Bow wows. Yes, friends, you've come barking up the right tree. Here's IWTV student Jesse Hauser. Popovich's Comedy Pet Theater. A family friendly show with all sorts of tricks from rescue animals. Now in America from the Moscow Circus. Popovich makes a stop on the campus of Iowa Western. Um, he spent the last few years here in the United States with this show, um, and it's actually based out of uh, Las Vegas. His home base is at the Hard Rock Casino Hotel in Las Vegas. Um, so this show is, uh, it features dogs and cats and mice. Um, most of the animals are uh, shelter animals that he's rescued from uh, pet shelters and trained, and he takes them on the road. They're part of his family. Seen with acts such as Jay Leno and Penn and & Teller, and starring in over 20 countries. Oh, one and only, Mr. For IWTV, I'm Jesse Hauser. Thanks, Jesse. Yes, they've been snowed in with their thoughts. Thoughts about Mother Nature from some of the gang who work around here. Golf in this weather? Can you believe it? After the break. Bye-bye. Hi. 
Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Listen, you're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, I just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. Did you hear about the pony with a sore throat? He was a little horse. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why couldn't the pelican? Wait. Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. Where did cats go on vacation? New York. <laughs> I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I feel wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was gonna be okay. Western men's basketball team takes Indian Hills here into double overtime in Reaver Arena and loses a heart stopper. Well, the 12th ranked Warriors make it look easy at their place. All the Hills, 91 to 77. Next up, the Reavers travel to Southeastern Wednesday, February 27th to battle the Blackhawks in the first round of the Region 11 tournament. Turning to baseball. Baseball, that's right, with all this snow in the ground, why not? The three-time national champs step into the box ranked fourth in the country. So you know what that means for the Reavers. Everybody's gunning for them. <music> Iowa Western, of course, opens its season on the road. Now the Reavers score 11 runs in the first two innings and route number nine Crowder 17 to six. Big Blue then blanks the Rough Riders five to zip. Next day at Northeast Oklahoma A&M, win six to two, lose six to three. Then two more with Crowder, drop a pair, run ruled 11 to one, and by one in extra nine to eight. Hey, it's early, baseball, better weather, just a couple innings away. And then there's the golf teams. Golf, in this weather, snow, I know, I know. But they still gotta practice somewhere, and they do. Here's IWTV student, Brian Tesmer. The women? 
and men. Golf teams in full swing. The guys come into the season ranked number six in the nation. Reaver men managed two first place finishes this fall and look to add some more this spring. Iowa Western's men only returning two this season and the women returning just four, including sophomore Lisa Lead. Lead finished first at the Mount Mercy Fall Classic to help the Reaver women secure the first place victory as a team but now preparations for a new season are in action. It's tough, this off is tough. The nice thing about our sport is we get a full fall to, to play and compete, and so we had a lot of time to evaluate uh, the, the new faces that we did have and um, learn as much as we could, as quick as we could about their game, um, which helps us a lot when we are in the off season inside. Uh, we know what to work on and, and really what needs to improve for us to have the success that we want this coming spring. Practicing inside is definitely something different than practicing outside, but we work at our uh, like swing and everything else. But I always believed in that you should work at and play outside to play your best, so I'm kind of nervous about the first tournament at least. Obviously, right now it's not ideal golf season, so we've just been lifting and hitting inside, but I feel like everyone's really motivated and it shows in our work ethic. The simulator is something we invested in something we invested in this uh, this season and it's helped us immensely. It's uh, a piece of technology that it tells you what the ball is doing um, after you hit it, but it also tells you what the club is doing um, before it makes contact with the ball. And so as a teaching tool, it's, it's, it's very valuable because it, it shows uh, information that can't be seen from the human eye. And uh, so it, it simulates all of your shots. It shows obviously how far it goes, the shape it has on it. But then again, it goes back to why did it do what it did? Um, and so you can use it as a teaching tool to, to make some changes to the swing itself to create uh, the ball flight that you want. So yeah, right now we have a flight scope in there and basically what that's doing is it's a ball monitor. So it's tracking kind of everything you need to know regarding your club and uh, what the ball's doing in the air. So it kind of gives us an idea of what we would see on the course and it just kind of helps us right now and we can't go outside. Whether they're outdoors or indoors, the Reaver golf team is ready for action. For IWTV Sports, I'm Brian Tesmer. Thanks, Brian. And finally, the good, the bad, and the snow. So we know what the peeps say about Reaver country, but what about Mother Nature on the other side? Let's, let's take off his sweatshirt. Get rid of pictures of him. You don't have to look at him. Goodbye, Dave. Mom, you don't understand. He's tagged in like 400 of my posts. I can cut out tags. No, that's, that's not how it works. What is a tag? <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care would love to share their first with you. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Drop that baby. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up.
Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. Yeah, so at the State of the College event recently, yours truly doubled up. I asked the peeps about working here and the snow. I mean, we're reminded of it everywhere we go. And it seems like it snows at least once a week. So, of course, I just had to ask the Super Six about the blanket of white that is everywhere. The tip of the iceberg. Mother Nature continues to paint the campus white. It's cold, I drive an hour, so every day, hour here, hour back. So it's made for some interesting travel, that's for sure. I love the weather. It keeps me inside, all my closets are cleaned out. Love it. Should I love it? No? I love it. I like the snow days. So it's a good thing for me, but not so good for the class, probably. Uh, the weather, it's wonderful, lovely. You kidding me? Yes. <laughs> so I'm getting used to it, super cold. I had to go out and get a new coat, and I have to wear gloves pretty much all the time when I'm outside. <laughs> it's Iowa. <laughs> it's, it reminds me, I'm old enough to remember Seemed like it was just back in the 70s, but oh, do you get the worse it gets. It's getting pretty. Well, you fill in the blank. Mother Nature continues to paint the campus white. Green is on the way. And so we're done with the snow again, I hope. <laughs> I mean, the softball and baseball teams have home games scheduled and soon. And you know what I say to that? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and so for this latest edition of IWTV News, I'm JJ Davis, and as always, I'll see you around campus. IWTV is online. Like us, follow us, watch us.